But let's talk about blockchain. Sierra Leone has just become the first African country to launch a national identification system with a blockchain backbone. Now, this system was launched and created by a San Francisco-based charity, Kiva. And then um, Kenya, Kenya created a task force last year uh, by the Kenyan ICT minister of 40 eminent persons from Cisco, IBM, the African Development Bank, Safaricom, that will look and give recommendations for blockchain to the minister. Now, they come up with some interesting recommendations. But first of all, if you don't know what blockchain is, let me give you a definition. It's a distributed digital ledger that allows participants to inexpensively and transparently record transactions in a permanent traceable way. Now, did I confuse you with that? Here's a better explanation of blockchain. Blockchain is shorthand for a whole suite of distributed ledger technologies that can be programmed to record and track anything of value. Let's say there was a dispute between Anne and her brother Steve over who owns a piece of land that's been in the family for years. Because blockchain technology uses the ledger method, there is an entry in the ledger showing that Adam first owned the property in 1900. When Adam sold the property to Dave in 1930, a new entry was made in the ledger, and so on. Every change of ownership of this property is represented by a new entry in the ledger. Anne is the current owner, and we can see that history in the ledger. Now, here's where things get really interesting. Unlike the age-old ledger method, originally a book, then a database file stored on a single system, blockchain was designed to be decentralized and distributed across a large network of computers. This decentralizing of information reduces the ability for data tampering. The task force has come up with some really good recommendations. Some of them include uh, the draft of a digital asset framework that will enable Kenyans to raise funds through initial coin offerings. Some of that is creating digital locker systems that will complement a digital ID for every citizen to securely store official documents like credit reports and birth certificates. Now, come closer. No, a little closer. Blockchain is a good technology. But I need you all to understand this. It's not the silver bullet that's going to solve the problems of corruption and insecurity. Let's not get caught up with shiny things. Bam bam.